Um, that's weird. What's up, YouTube? We are here with my mom in Helsinki, Finland. And we are trying a bunch of snacks from the Heroku Market, which is in Stockman. We're gonna try them all today and rate them on a scale of one to 10 to let you know what you must try and what you shouldn't try when you're in Finland. These are the Frankful Vegan Cheese Tortilla Crisp. Kind of a Dorito-y kind of smell. A little MSG mm. power going on. I don't like the texture a whole lot. It's kind of like you put, you tried to make a Dorito out of a cracker. What do you think? What I think that tastes like kind of sour lick, cream and lick. onion chips. Mm -hmm. You kind of want to lick all the stuff off the outside of them. But it's like a, it's like a pita chip texture. Mm -hmm. I would say four. I would probably eat these at night. I'm going to go with a six. I like this. It's colorful. This is... It's rock goose is love, so some kind of love thing. Rocky Stamo Hugo Lumo mocktail. I really like it. I don't it's nothing I've ever tasted before, but it's something like it's just so new. Kind of piney. To me, this tastes like hair champagne. I would give this a one. I would not drink this again. I would never think I would drink this, but when I taste this it, one of those things you make you want to try again. I'm gonna go with a strong eight. An eight? I'm back. But these are gluten-free lemon muffins. And I had these the last trip to Finland. Mm, dry. I like it. I would give it a three. It's a 7.5 for me. They're strawberries. But they're finished strawberries, so we wanted to see how finished strawberries compare to American strawberries. They're so cold. Mm -hmm. mm. That one's good. They're, they taste like strawberries. It's really pretty and adorable. <laughs> Throwing strawberries at the camera, cool. Say a four. It's just like a soury strawberry. I'm gonna go with the five. They're kind of just strawberries. We got cotton candy grade. There they are, looking delicious. Mmm, I'll have another. Mmm, <laughs> really good. They do kind of have that same vibe as cotton candy, which is odd. Mm. Nice and crunchy, too. I'm gonna give these an 8.5. Say that was a strong 8 still. This is the Saima Brewing Co. Yes, yes, apple dry non-alcoholic cider and it does have 0.3% alcohol so I think it's like basically kombucha. I'm dreading this one a little bit. You picked it. <laughs> I know. It looked pretty. You, she you picked put something out. in a pretty container and I'm in. This mm -hmm. tastes like mm -hmm. alcohol. I would, yeah. if you served this to me I think it was yeah, some kind I of wine. I would give it back. <laughs> no thanks. I'm gonna rate that a four. I'm gonna rate that a two. These are the Pepper Karkuya cookies. I know I did not say that right, but they look like this. And they're like a gingerbread cookie. And they're fabulous. And I don't like ginger, nor do I like gingerbread. But for some reason, every time I come to Finland, I have to get a bag of these. They're so good. They're so bad, but they're so good. You know, there's those things in life. It kind of tastes like paper. <laughs> and the texture is like oddly crunchy and oddly soft. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'm gonna rate this a... It's confusing guys, cause I don't like it, but I would eat multiples of it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rate this a six. And a half. I'm gonna go with a eight and a half because I don't love the flavor, but I love them. Eight and a half. I love them. I love them. These are the original Toffle Snacks, premium potato chips, crispy gold, creme fresh, and onion. Ooh. Look like this. I'm ready. Mmm, they smell 
They smell like pickles. Fine. They do. They Which is weird because really they're sour cream and onion essentially. Oh. Mmm. Yeah. Mm hmm I've never tasted any chip in America that's that flavorful. I would agree. That's really good. And it's they're crunchy, like a crunchy. kettle chip. Yeah, kettle chip. That's it. Recommend these. I um, rate those a nine. Yeah. I would eat that with like cheese or like on a mm. charcuterie board with mm. like salami and some hard cheeses. Some cucumbers. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. those, I would buy multiple bags of those. Feels like a grown up chip. Mm -hmm. A grown like up it. chip, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the nine too. I like those. Those are bomb. Keeping with the chips. Yeah. These are pre pre and roasted Vitlock Garge chips. And I'm pretty sure that these are paprika and garlic. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh, I want to smell those. I bet they smell delicious. I love mm, both those things. They don't oh, smell yeah. great. No, they smell like dog food. Yeah, oh, I was gonna no. say cat food. I was so looking forward to it. I love paprika. <laughs> oh, no, I, I eat I'm paprika on everything. Now. Picky chip eater. Oh, not bad, but I'm gonna need a drink. Oh my God. Cause <laughs> I'm on fire. Oh, who? Um, okay, drink trial. We're gonna, gonna try, try drink. water. Water. <laughs> uh huh. We're fancy. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're fancy women. Ah, Not me. They actually taste all right. They taste like barbecue chips, but then the afterburn on the back of your tongue. Mmm. And that I'll water. Show you the water. Tastes taste. very clean. This is the land vessel. And we couldn't tell what the difference between our two land, our La De Vesi waters. What's the difference? Maybe one sparkling, we don't know. We'll but this is the clear really. bottle. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. fresh tasting, it tastes mm -hmm. a little like Fiji water. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. gonna have to rate these chips a one because I could not eat those like ever I'll in my life. These away for me. I didn't mind the taste, like if I had it with some cheese and maybe a hunk of bread or something as a snack, but I hate the smell. I wouldn't, I just wouldn't be going there again. I'm, they're not horrid, but I'll say it too. I don't love them. They am the same brand, so hopefully these don't smell the same. These are the Garge Chips Truffle Oil Chips. I love a truffle oil of any kind, like mac and cheese, anything. So. That did not look promising and now I'm afraid. Oh, um, like they no. smell like PVC pipe mm -hmm. <laughs> or nail polish. They smell like what they that grow very those intense. truffles in. I don't want to, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this for you. So I'm sacrificing mm. myself for y'all. I think they're pretty tasty. I think they're horrendous. I'm gonna I think they're that. like a four and a half. Negative four. <laughs> Negative four. <laughs> Horrendous. These I'm super excited about. Mm -hmm. Mom found these at the store. They're 100% popped Gouda cheese cheese pops. Mmm. I thought they were maybe the tops of popcorn with some cheesy stuff on them. Is that not what they are? Cheese pop is a 100% cheese ball that's surprisingly crunchy and airy because of a unique way of popping. It tastes good. It smells like cheese. Oh yeah, I want one right away. Oh, they're airy. Mm. I don't love them. I don't hate them. Oh, wait. Here comes some secondary. Um, mm. they taste like what I expected them to taste like. On a salad? These would be good. She didn't I mean, want a salad. I wouldn't eat the salad part, but yeah, it's like mm -hmm. kind of a crouton texture, mm -hmm. but it's cheese. I think it's just like those little cheese crisps. If you've ever had the cheese crisps that come on something, it's very much that. I liked them. I would say Ooh, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Ooh, she liked but them. But on the right thing. Like eating them alone for me, not so much. I'm not going to sit down and eat that. I'd but say a seven and a half. All of our rest of our stuff is sweet stuff. Mm. So to clear the palate, we have Moomin juice no, I'm, and. I'm it some flavor. I don't know what flavor this is. I'm drinking it with the straw. Okay, it looks very much like a little water. So not a lot of it has no smell. colors and things, so that's nice. No smell at all. Mine does smell. It's just a little smell, but because it's outside. Like. 
Okay, this tastes like if you took 19 parts water and one part a little bit of juice, pear juice, and threw it in there. I'm getting Granny Smith apple for sure. Mm. Um, but definitely very, very light flavor. This is somebody trying to fool their kid that they're not drinking water. That's what this is, good for them. I'm gonna keep this as my palate cleanser. For I'm gonna go with video. three. These I'm pretty sure are not finished, but there was they were in like four different places in the store, so I feel like they must be pretty popular. These are Bon Maman Fine Pure Butter Biscuits. Mm -hmm. These smell amazing. They smell like butter. <laughs> Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, delicious. And Thank they're you. crisp. Like, they have like a butter glaze on them, too. Mm, yeah, it's shiny. It's like a buttery little moon. It's delicious. Can't go wrong with that. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These. I could catch myself eating half the box. These. Mm -hmm. I'm going 9.5. These are delicious. Something Wait, wrong. I don't think I rated this. I rate this juice a 7.5. I give it like a low three. Um, these I will go with, I'm gonna go an eight. Eight? They're delicious. Next up are Doris Phaser tri Trifle trifle Cookies. Mmm, I think they smell good. I'm afraid that those little black flecks might be the hellish Samyaki I just talked about. I'm very scared. But um. So this is what the cookie looks like. Really cute, pretty, makes me want to eat it. But it smells good to me. It smells kind of like an Oreo, which I'm not a big Oreo fan. So that's a little disconcerting, but. That's what I was about to say. It smells like an Oreo. I hate Oreos, so mm. not thrilled. Uh-oh, it's a little Oreo-ish. I think if you like Oreos, you would love these. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna get some of the cream. Me too, that's what I'm doing. Mm. Mm -mm. I like like the cream off Oreos as a kid, but never liked the Oreo. Mm, yeah, that's quite Oreo. Yeah. yeah, if you like Oreos, this is a zero for me. This is your bone. I'm this not eating bun. this every. No, it's like fancy people. That's Oreos. A no for me. Let mm -hmm. me clear out my mouth. Okay, for me that would be a number. Mm, that's a three. That's a zero for me. Mm -hmm. Let's try this drink. We've actually had this before. <laughs> it's the Schweppes. Uh, original Ruchane. And it is not the same flavor as the uh, pink raspberry ginger ale that's in America. It's so good. Well, now you know what I picture this with, is when you're sitting in the bathtub and you got little like candles, candles. and you got a good book and you put this in a moment. champagne glass. This, yeah. I really love this and I look forward to it each time we come. I would say I rate it. Yeah, I think it's better cold though. Yeah, definitely mm. better cold. Ours is warm because we mm. just picked it up at the store. Mm. Um, I would rate it like an eight. It's a ten for me. These oh. are not phaser. Yeah. No, they're not. No. Oh no. Oh, they're not Carl Frey's. I don't love them as much now. They're the right colors. Mom picked these out. I'm pretty sure she just didn't read the box. It was the right colors. These are Jules de Strooper Biscuitier Belgium since 1886. These are Belgium, Belgian chocolate thins with pure butter. I oh. love the pure butter idea. And it looks like there's maybe three kinds. Oh, but they're very pretty. Nice presentation. I think this would be really fun if you were having friends over for coffee to kind of just put that out. Be really pretty. Which one do you want to go for first? Let's go worst to best. So, okay. crack it off. Ready? Cheers. Ooh, a nice crunch though. Yeah. Nice dark chocolate smell. If you like dark chocolate, it's very it. Ooh, um, this smells like coffee. I'm going. Um, I don't want the texture already. No. It's a little toffee. I mean, if you're into the toffee then, I maybe. Mean. It's actually not as bad as I was expecting. I'm it tastes like coffee hurt. to me. I'm gonna get this crunch for it, or this pop mm -hmm. for it. Ooh. It has a good taste though. 
I don't really like the taste. I'm over there in taste land and I'm not mad at it. This is the milk chocolate one. Oh, this one. one's, this one's less crunchy. I really like this one actually. Oh, we didn't rate the dark chocolate one. Dark chocolate one for me was a four. Mm, I'll give it a five, I'm kind of neutral. I'd say the milk chocolate one, I like the flavor of it a lot. Really good, I think. But I don't like the cookie part. I do, I like the crunchy. So I would give that, it's a good seven, maybe a strong seven. I actually really like it. I don't know that I'd rebuy it. It's like a five for me. But I do like it. I may find that later tonight I eat the whole box. White chocolate. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. I didn't expect the cookie part to be so dark. This makes me think of those animal crackers that are pink and white. Yeah, that's what this tastes like. Mmm. Mm -hmm. The it's chocolate good. on this one. It kind of blends with the other little chocolate or whatever. If I could peel the chocolate off of this cookie, I would eat it. Yeah, this tastes like, I think if you had a, like an expensive version of those little pink and white circus animal crackers. Or circus whatever. cracker? Mm -hmm. I don't agree with that because I had those three weeks ago. Jerry and I bought a packet of those in a gas station. Well, it was disgusting. That probably speaks on you. Yeah, I'm gonna steal these because I'm gonna eat all of these in the middle of the night. Don't tell me. The anybody. white chocolate. The white chocolate's pretty good to me. Um, I don't like the texture again, but the flavor is really delicious. So I would say those are a seven for me. Yeah, um, seven. And I might even pop up the chocolate ones to an eight. The milk chocolate ones? Mm -hmm. As a whole, this package, especially once again, if you were going to have some friends over for coffee or something like that, I think I would rate this a good nine, at least. Uh, anything that, phaser. Anything that, oh yeah, that you mark it with movement on for me. When you put a movement on it or phaser on it, which are two very, very Finnish brand name things, I'm about it. So the only thing I could do more is put a Finnish flag across this and I'm gonna like it. Like, unless it's Samiyaki once again. <laughs> it's a Finnish flag oh. right there. <laughs> I like it. I don't. It's a ten. Oh my gosh, it's a very cute package. I would say the that's a ten. This is the type of thing I would buy when the oh, kids, so cute. when the kids were younger, with full intention of it being for them. And then before they got any, possibly the package of them. Look <laughs> at them, y'all. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. They taste very finishy. Yeah, I like them. They taste like butter cookies. They actually taste very similar to these. Mm -hmm. What so, would you rate these? A 10. A 10? Uh-huh. Not for taste. A taste? What would you rate the taste? It's a an taste. An 8. This makes me so happy. So, 8 taste, 10 and happiness. I'm gonna go 8 <laughs> in general. Are you gonna make me drink more nail polish remover juice? It's not nail polish remover. You just said you love movements. I do love Moomin. This is a Moomin. Moomin's so cute. Look at it. Valdema Mansiyakiruma. I think it's a raspberry strawberry flavor. Mm. It's oh, so no, kind of like fairiness. Begin with the white or the clear juice. I guess no carpets are being stained here. There were these things that used to clip inside your toilet. Oh my God. Do you know what I'm talking about? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? And they smell it. And sometimes you smell them in industrial size in the bathroom. Like you'll go in a bathroom and you're like, well, that's very raspberry. Who took the raspberry poop? That's what these are. I'm pretty sure they melted down the 1980s toilet bowl cleaning smelly things. For somebody who was all about the packaging two minutes ago, she's not I about am, it now. But you can't just destroy it. I think it does smell very artificial. <laughs> oh, hell. Disgusting. Nope. Um, she knows I would say disgusting. it is very artificial flavored. I would rate that a, a two. It's not the worst thing I've ever drank. I would rather drink that than like the first two drinks we had. But I don't like it. That's a one. These are called Fever Tree and Premium Soda Water. Was this one? And Fever Tree is a brand. I think you can get this in the states. But 
Okay. Our faces to zoom in. I think um, you can get this in the United States as well. It smells like water. <laughs> Doesn't smell like anything. Yeah, it smells absolutely no smell. Um, it's a little bitter. It goes down harsh. It tastes like baking soda. <laughs> Yeah, it does taste like baking soda. I think this is baking soda. Baking soda. I got, I got baking bacon soda. soda. Baking soda. Natural baking spring soda. water and bicarbonate of soda. Okay, so this is baking soda water. <laughs> okay, well, we're special. But it, it tastes was exactly a, like but that. But it's in a pretty bottle. I would rate it like I a, think it tastes a little better than if you three. drink baking soda water because it's not as salty. But that's what it tastes like. I think it's pretty salty. Oh, it's a three. It, I yeah, it's I don't a three. dislike it. I don't like it. I'm not gonna sit and drink it. I'm so excited about this. I have no mm. idea what this is, but it it's is called cute. Sparkle Bites Unicorn Bar, gluten free. It's really cute. Oh, get it, get it, get this. There we go. It's really oh, cute. Can it's you cute. see it? This looks healthy. And so I, I thought this was a I'd candy it, bar, but she, I don't know that I would eat it, but I sure would buy it. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. I guess you have, gotta have a little sacrifice. Be a ground up Ooh, unicorn. Ooh, this doesn't smell. It smells like a fruit cake from Christmas. Oh, I can't. You have to. Okay, I'm, I'm sacrificing myself here, y'all. <laughs> what if it's delicious? It's not gonna be. This smells like, like ketchup. Oh, it's sticky. Ketchup and paprika. Oh. Um, this tastes like a date. If you like dates. This is for you. There's a fruitcake. For me, mm. it's a no. Oh for my god. For me, it's a one. This is a zero. Why would you put such a pretty package on such an evil substance? So, this is dedicated to Brooklyn. It's a Twix. My middle brother literally said he didn't want to come to Finland ever again because Finland had found a way to ruin Twix bars. I've never had a finished Twix. I feel like that might be a little dramatic. It looks good, right? It, it looks, looks just exactly like, like a, a regular Twix. Twix bar, right? But it does not taste like a regular Twix bar. And it does at first. You're like, what kind of ridiculous are you talking about? You're stupid. But it tastes like a Tootsie Roll. Okay, so when you first bite it, it does taste like a regular Twix. Mm -hmm. The flavors come together. The after flavor of the chocolate is Tootsie Roll. And it's stuck in your teeth. If you like Tootsie Rolls, this is gonna be your jam. But and you Brooke should be ordering loves them. Tootsie Rolls. And he but Brooke doesn't like unexpected, just like I don't. That's true. Um, that's weird. It's not horrible. It's horrible. It's pretty bad. It's not the worst. It's, horrible. it's not unicorn fruitcake. Horrible. It's a six for me. I mean, I would eat it. I wouldn't. In a pinch, if I wanted a Twix bar, I would eat it. The aftertaste, though, not a great. It's not my favorite thing. I'd say, like, a real low, too. That wraps up our finished taste test. I hope you guys yeah, enjoyed fun. it. I mean, I didn't like it all, but I liked it all. I like trying it all. <laughs> I like trying it. So comment down below what things you've tried, what countries we should travel to to try new snacks next. I'm very willing. And definitely let us know if you've tried any of these and if you like any of them. This is not going to be the last time we'll be in Finland, so if there's a Finnish snack that we did not try, that we absolutely have to, except for Samiyaki, we've already tried it, not trying it again, but- I'll try it again. I won't try it again. But if there's a snack that we absolutely need to try, comment down below and we will try it next time. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And until next time, we will see you next time. Moi moi. Bye guys.